Okay, all right. Uh, we back. Infinite content, NBS Universe. Uh, shout out to my co-host, Keo. Um, introduce yourself, family. Let's start there. Yeah, let's go. Uh, what's up to the Danny Myers community? Uh, the Parallel Universe community. My name is Gabino <laughs> Grimes, uh, CEO, founder of uh, Mike Masters Alliance here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, that's a high level, man. That's who I am. <laughs> All righty, all right. So, uh, talk to me, man. The Utah battle rap scene. Uh, let me see. Let me let me see for how far I go back. I'll go back to uh, A Hat Utah. Yep. What was the league where um, Emerson Kennedy battled with Pat Main? Uh, Mike Masters. <laughs> bar. I think you just got a bar got off the rip. Hold on, bro. <laughs> bar, 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 God. You just got a bar got out the rip, bro. Because I didn't know all my, all my kids, I didn't know that it was on Mike Masters. Emerson Kennedy's first battle was on Mike Masters. Talk your shit. Let's fucking go, man. Let's come on, man. Let's let's man. let's get people in, hip to what's going on out here, man. So, uh, one story. Uh, and uh, Emerson, well, I just we talk about it often, and and Ek talks about it too. But like he uh, was involved, like as a judge, mostly uh, in the scene out here. Uh, initially when we first started and then uh i you know i kept talking to him like we would have phone calls and shit and uh uh finally i was like bro like you're just way too talented uh to not at least try you know and um he's like all right man i'll try and then mountain west showdown 2 um he battled against playboy short in december of uh 2011 shout out to playboy short <laughs> yeah <laughs> And uh, that was the beginning. Yeah, co-hosted by Dirt, uh, Dirtbag Dan. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that was the start. He's a really talented cat, obviously, you know. But and and he went on to become in my top five personal favorite battle rappers of all time. Whoa! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I I got I got Daylight. I got Nitty. I got Emerson Kennedy. Uh, oh. Danger Zone. Like Lot of Zay and Verb. They're like my top six. Of like uh, ever, that's insane, man. Yeah, and he came right there from 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 your imprint, right there from what you've been doing out there. Um, yeah, I appreciate what y'all got going on. Well, before we get to this, uh, the showdown part six. Yeah, you know, uh, before we get to that, I just wanted to for people to you know for you to introduce yourself to the people that are not familiar with you, uh, the scene, and how long you've been doing this. So I'll just tell you tell you a little quick backstory. Yeah, absolutely. So um 2011 is when we got our like uh start. We um it started off as a venture for myself personally. Like I wanted to get on grind time. And uh this was back in 2011 and I uh I think it was MySpace. I think I sent uh, Mad Ills a MySpace message or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> um he got me connected with Absurd with Assault and Battling and um because they were running like you know the grind time west uh tryouts or what have you and then um uh i was gonna go out to battle on assault and battling and then he was like well uh absurd was like hey do you want to um throw an event in utah i was like man i don't fucking know dog like we can just uh what how about i go battle first and then because this was still just my own venture i was like how about i go battle first and then we can figure it out all the other shit he's like well you got homies right he's like yeah fucking of course i do i was like okay let me give me a second let me figure it out boom hit up like 10 12 people and uh, we had our first event i brought them out it happened on my birthday september 3rd 2011 um and then i uh, had a I had a birthday too happy birthday yeah thank Late. you yeah 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 um and that's how it started uh he uh absurd ended up going away and uh, not going away but uh the uh, the scene was like when's the next fucking battle you know and i was like i don't know because i'm not fucking doing it. <laughs> you know it's not my fucking league you know <clears throat> and then um because the noise got so loud i fucking you know i was with i just uh we came up with the name mike masters alliance and uh didn't even have a logo for uh mountain west showdown one um through that event and it's been going and then it went till about 2014 end of 2014 and then i took a long layoff man like uh 2015 all the way to last year october 7th of last year um 
yeah, eight had Utah was holding it down, you know, uh, they were doing it. And then, uh, I resurrected it, uh, from a fucking conversation that happened. Sure. As shit with none other than other than Emerson Kennedy. He was a uh, post, he was doing a video out here for last second C and, um, he needed some extras, went out, there was an extra with him and he was, I mean, pretty fucking plain with me. He's like, so when's the next battle? <laughs> and I was like, I guess that's the cue, you know. <laughs> I guess that's right, what, right, uh, right. Yeah. So that's okay. It. Yeah, and we've had a hell of a fucking year, man. It's been a fucking a, a crazy year, crazy year. You guys, uh, were you guys responsible for a disaster versus Marv One or? Yep. Mar- that, or disaster Marv One. Yep. That yeah, that that was a good ass battle. Uh, you had another yeah. crazy or, battle. Yeah. Who else? Emerson and Thesaurus, Emerson versus A Ward, Thesaurus versus the Saga. Um, Look at the work. Come on, man. Keep it going. Hold on. Yikes. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> These are fire battles, too, by the way. Yeah. And, um, you know, a plethora, man. There's been a lot of pretty good. Uh, we've had a really good run, man. It's been it's been fun. And then to cap off this year with uh, this, this card is, uh, you know, I, I can't even say like outside of blessed or whatever but like it's just uh i don't know just very exciting very exciting marv has been uh very uh active with us this year too since the warm-up too so um to have him uh he's almost like you know pseudo repping the league against you you know (laughs) (laughs) marv cheating marv cheating man he got a he got the uh the 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 love of the hometown already and he's an honorary utah member you know what i'm saying (laughs) It's been a running well, joke. It's been a running joke that he's getting an apartment out here, man, because he's been out here. <laughs> he's out there so much, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see, man. I battled. Shout out to my man. Um, what? What? Uh, I bought my. Uh, huh? You battled Mike Bailey, right? I battled. His name was Mikey, Mikey B. B. Yeah, Mikey B. Yeah. Mikey B. At the time, he was like seventeen years old, and I'm like, oh my god, who is this kid? <laughs> You know, I battle a man, I battle Emerson Kennedy on a street corner out there on 24 hours notice. No uh, way. You know. I didn't know that. Yeah. I battle Emerson Kennedy. I was my first, I think I was my first battle in Utah. I battle Emerson on a street corner. Uh, we did a one round 24 hours prep. I just, I just called, I, I said, listen, a hats going out to, uh, I forgot who was on the car, but somebody was going out uh, to uh, Salt Lake city. Yeah. I said, yo, I'm, I, I said, yo, Danny Myers issues the challenge. Whoever is in Salt Lake City, if y'all want smoke tomorrow, get get ready. And Emerson Kennedy was the first person to respond. Of course he fucked. When he responded, I said, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, why did it have to be him, Mike? Because I saw him versus Pat Man and I was highly impressed. I was like, yo, this kid right here is amazing. So I, I, I knew I was in for a fight. We wound up having a crazy battle one round, 24 hours notice. Uh, and we've been cool ever since that day, man. And then wow. I battled my daily. Just, you know, I, I fuck with Utah. I fuck with Salt Lake City. Talk to me, matter of fact, because w- first of all, when you when you hear Utah, like nobody even thinks hip hop, let alone battle rap. They don't. People, the first thing is, oh, it's the, the Mormons. Sure. That's it. It's either that, the Utah Jazz. Carl Malone, it's just the same shit over and over. So I I know like at this point, you guys are saying, you know, we we have way more than that. Y'all just got to get hit. And by you throwing these events, it's bringing people from out of town, bringing MCs and battlers to Utah who probably otherwise would have never even gone out there. Yeah. You know, and you guys are growing the scene. And you like you said, you resurrected. The, the battle rap scene, and that's what I'm proud of. Because I was I, even me, I was like, "Yo, what? What's up with what's up with the Utah scene?" Like, I was I was happy to see that growing, and you know what I'm saying. Then it just kind of it just kind of stopped. Yeah. So is what is your question? Is there more? Like, what what's the? Is, well, what's, I'm, I'm just saying I'm, I'm happy that you guys are doing it. I'm giving you props. Uh, oh yeah, hell yeah. You for, uh, <clears throat> Who else was running the? Uh, who else had a, a big hand in that that Utah scene out there? I'm, his name is right there on the tip of my tongue. Um, for a hat Utah, they had uh, Silas and uh, Nick Fonseca. 
There we go. Nick yeah. Fonseca, man. Yeah. What happened? What 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 happened? What what happened? Why they stop? What happened? Do no, you I know? Have no I have no idea. No, you don't no, even okay. I don't know the inner workings of that. Just uh at you know, contrary to popular popular belief. Um, you know, I uh after you know we did our thing, um yeah, I mean I don't know what happened. I have no idea, you know. Um I went out yeah, well, I, like Nick was the name, he was the guy out there. He was the name that if you wanted to get in get a battle out there, or, or he was part of growing that scene and then suddenly he just kind of disappeared. I did I did talk to him a couple of months back too. Yeah. But then here you guys are resurrected it, and now you got this. You got Danny Myers versus Mar one book, man. So <laughs> that's a battle. <clears throat> that's a battle that me and Marv have both have been actively seeking for about five to six years. Wow. And we kept going back and forth on Twitter. Hey, no country for old men. We got a hashtag for our own battle. Like, because we, you know, people just they, they say, oh, Danny and Marv, y'all some old dudes, but we're we're very well respected. And no league has ever been able to make it happen. I, and I've had leagues hit me up. I think somebody like out in Minnesota and some some leagues down south, leagues were just hitting me up about it. But n the talks never led to anything. And so here you come. You, out of all people, made this legendary battle happen because it's going to be it's going to be one for the books for sure. And here you go. Like, how did I? What happened? Like, how did that come about? Where, where did the idea to even book Danny and Marv come from? And how did uh, you make it happen? Yeah, yeah. First off, I want to say that that's an insane fucking story uh, about how long this has been in the making and um, to have it, uh, you know, about to happen in, in three weeks is, uh, I mean, you know, fucking wow. I bet you've had bars stored up for that long, too. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, I've, I've had ideas. Yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> Um, so, uh, a big shout out to my partner, uh, uh, hoodie Jer. He and I, um, I spoke with him about it and, uh, it was a little after November of last year that we were talking about like really making it happen. When did I start texting you or like, when did, um, because like I wanted to at least get a conversation going. Yeah. Yeah. It was, so it was, I think it was like a month and a half, two months before. Before we actually locked it in, but yeah. you definitely reaching out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, but we were unsure if we were going to make it happen this year. I'll just be totally transparent because I was like, man, this is like, uh, we want to make sure to end the year strong and what else is going to be on this card to support it? Whoop, whoop, you know? And so, uh, Jar and I were just like, yo, let's just fucking make it happen. Uh, we spoke, to, we spoke to Marv. Marv was, was with it. And then we spoke to you. And uh, worked out the logistics of when we were going to be able to, you know, uh, make funds, you know, do what they do. And then um, after that, it was uh, just that was it. Uh, you know, that was all. So um, it was just a matter of the vision honestly started in November. All this shit just barely started last year in October, bro. So like these new ideas for these new fucking battles didn't really start popping up until a little <laughs> after our fucking October. You got to for real realize like a year ago, I was not even, you know. Uh, I was getting ready for the first event, but like, just think like last June, dog, I wasn't doing shit. Not like for battles, like at all. I was, I was watching, saying up to the same shit I was doing music, whatever the fuck. But, um, yeah, that's just important to know because like this, uh, the fact that this is, uh, coming to fruition is, um, yeah, it was just a matter of, uh, just bringing an idea to the table and being like, okay, well, let's just reach out and make sure that they're both down and, uh, do they think that Salt Lake City's, uh, you know, geographically, does it matter, you know? And um, I think that we're going to be able to put on a great show for you. You have put on some amazing battles in a short, short span of time. And I definitely want to see this, this scene continue to grow. You know, uh, that's why uh, we're, we're here now. We want to give, give it this event some promotion because what I was just talking with Organic today. I just uh, interviewed Organic. And, you know, he was saying, yo, this this whole culture is really fan run, you know, like and the way we can make this thing continue and the way we can get more events is if the fans come out and support it. Because without without the money, it's it's like the, he, he said, like, this shit don't have no insurance policy there. This is a risk. Like you might you might put all your money into this 
and then don't make back what you put into it and you just take a loss. And then it's like, okay, so how do we book the next card when we didn't even recoup from this? And it's just so much, you know, I, I understand how it goes. That's right. You know, so I do want the fans, I want the, the, the building to be packed, you know, because um, we're going to put on great shows. We're going to give the fans their money worth. But nobody's coming. Nobody took this as, oh, this is just a check. You know how battlers do it. They be like, ah, okay, I'll just take some quick money and, you know, just go say ABC one, two, three. All right, bye. Choke, check, choke the second round. Uh, kind of stumble through the third. Give a couple cool little bars and I'm out here. Give me my money. Give me my back end. I'm out. Yeah, I don't I'm care. Sure. Utah, who cares? It's Utah. Like nobody's looking at that. I've been talking with the, the battlers that are on this card, and we are definitely coming to give an A plus effort. But again, we need the fans to pop out. So, first of all, let them know. Uh, do we have a pay per view? Do we have a pay per view? Do we have a let them know where they can see this and they can purchase tickets, and so we can get this building packed and get those pay per view numbers up. Yeah, let's uh, <clears throat> let's make it super simple. At Mike Masters eight zero one on Instagram, the link is in the bio. There's only one link in the bio. Um, I removed the Facebook link on there just to make it super simple. Uh, click that shit. The pay per view is on Caffeine for only ten dollars. That's right. I said fucking ten dollars, uh, which is see, see, insane. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no reason that uh, you should miss this card. There's nine battles on it. Um, and then if you have the URL app, you uh, you get it for five dollars. So um, wow, yeah. wow. So, hey, so everybody that's watching this, listen, man. At Mike Masters Alliance eight hundred one. Or at, what is it? One more time. At Mike Masters eight zero one on caffeine. We've had a. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the description. Yeah. We've had an influx of followers um, over the last like two weeks, and I plan. I, I we have all of our content on there. Uh, shout out to you know uh, EK for also you know with the assist on that uh, for helping us get to make that happen. And um, okay, so that's for the pay per view. All right, so that's if you can't get a if you can't get a uh, flight out here. Um, if you can't get a flight and a hotel out here, whatever the fuck it is, uh, stay in a hostel. God damn. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> uh, live. Um, again, all the, those tickets uh, prices are $25 uh, presale and $40 at the door. Um, and those are also on the, the DM or excuse me, the link in bio on the, on the Instagram. But if you go to utahrapper.com, um, you can, you can go there and it's available on the website there too. All right. Y'all heard that Utah rapper.com it go there, get your tickets. And this, and if you can't make it to Utah, this man said, this man said $10, bro. Y'all, yeah. y'all go and, and, and spend that in candy. Y'all go y'all buying all these, th your liquor costs way more than that. So you're getting basically a you're spending a dollar per battle there's nine battles and then you get one extra bonus battle come on and if you're if you're already a subscriber to the url app you're paying five bucks for nine incredible battles so you know even for the battles that you may not even be familiar with and you're just really coming to see the main events hey that's fine too You'll you know you're, you're paying think about it you're gonna pay five bucks to see danny myers versus marv one come on man you're gonna sure. pay to see emerson kennedy Versus uh B Magic, right? Am I right? Am I right? Yep. So y'all go, y'all support this because the more the more that we get support from y'all, the more that they can do this, the more that they can bring out more battlers, more events, and y'all just gonna get nonstop entertainment. So there's that. Um, name some uh MCs that if possible, you can bring out to Utah next year. Jag. Um I'm all with it. because that's already in my yeah uh all right uh i would really like to man i saw lex post about this on twitter but uh getting k shine out here man that would be amazing um, oh k shine would tear the roof down and <laughs> it's all like city, man yeah, really want jc to come out here i've been a big okay I'll, ho I'll holler at jc for sure i'll and holler at him for you um would love to have the saga come back and him and I, we have a direct, you know, an open line of communication. So I know that'll happen soon again. Um, um, who off top really, 
honestly, I would really love to see Cortez come out here. That be that would be pretty fucking. I'll, I'll holler at Cortez for you. Don't yeah. trip. Um, on the west, <laughs> uh, on the west, just get Rum Diddy in Salt Lake City next year, yeah, man. I, I, listen, Rum has been on a tour. He's been taking on any up and comers. He's been going hitting leagues that that he's never battled on. You know, so it's a it's a very real possibility we could get Rum Nitty on Mike Masters. You know what I'm saying? Geechee yeah. Gotti can come out. And these guys, you know, they, they they fuck with you. They'll fuck with you. So, yeah, I, I, was, just bring, I was just going to bring up Geechee, but uh, bringing up Rum, I mean, the, the, you know, uh, they're West staples. So to bring them out here would be uh, ideal. 2024, we're going to have fun, man. We're, like, uh, to give a better perspective on what this year has been like for us, Danny, like, uh, 2023 has been like, a, you know, I keep using this phrase. It's been like, what are we doing? You know? And then 2024 is more like, okay, so now what are we doing? You know, let's lock it up. Let's uh, really, let's, you know, snowball this shit uh, into, into something that's really special. Cause it already is special. Uh, I mean, we were just recently published in the local uh, newspaper um, that. Uh, no, that's fire. Fire. Um, uh, on the news out here, uh, on two different channels. Um, yeah, I don't know. We we it's been a wild fucking year, bro. It's been crazy. You you want to hear a funny story about the disaster Marv one battle just really quick, just because yeah, like, you yeah. know how insane this has been. Okay, so March we were we were just finished up the 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 Zoom face offs for the warm up three. Okay, uh, the Saurus. Um, excuse me. So. That happened on a Sunday, all right? Sunday morning, though, okay? I wake up to a text message um, from uh, Disaster, and it was like at 2 something in the morning, 2.30 in the morning. I woke up to him, and hey, he's like, hey, this is Diz. I want to talk to you about your next event. And I'm thinking, like, past the next event because it's in a fucking week, you know? And I was like, bet. I'll hit you up here shortly. I got to get ready for these face-offs. We'll do it. And then uh, the sort, because the source told me, is like, hey, I got a, I got a buddy that wants to, he didn't even tell me it was disaster. He's like, I got a buddy that wants to reach out to you <laughs> about uh, this that's battle. dope. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> and so we finished up with the uh, we finished up with the face offs. I give Diz a call, and he's like, "Yo, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I have all this energy, you know, for, since uh, the Stay Forever, you know, or you know, since Pat. You know, I really want to. Uh, um, I see what you guys are doing out there, and the source hit me up, and um, I'd really like to be a part. And I was like, "Well, it's in a week, so I don't know what." I I was like, "I'm sure you've prepared in less time, but what what are your thoughts?" And he's like, "Well, who there locally uh, would you would you think?" And I was just trying to you know going through my Rolodex, and um, I thought of a couple names, and then I was like, "Well, fuck, man, Marv's already going to be out here uh, to judge." Um, and so I said that clicked in my brain and I was like, well, what about you versus fucking Marv? I know that there was that battle that happened back in like 2015. This is what I said to him on the phone. I was like, but, um, I don't know. Was that an official fucking battle? Like what, what, what are we, do what are we looking at? And he's like, right, oh, right. I battled Marv. And I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? And so like, I was in my homie's house and we, um, we made it happen. We locked it in. I called Jerry. I was like, yo, this is what, uh, you know, let's uh make it happen it was it felt like closing a sale almost you know to some degree i'm in sales so like it felt right like, like hey let's make sure that everything is correct for everyone and then we'll make it happen so it, it was uh but it was it was insane it was surreal like all i wish my homies were here right now that were in that room we were all just like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> you got like oh fuck we just got yeah <laughs> the bastard. And more one, you know on on our league like that yeah. i know i i can imagine i could imagine man you know, so that same with Emerson and uh, Thesaurus, like, uh, because uh, EK was talking about wanting to battle Thesaurus for quite a while, and so I was like, yeah, let's make that happen. And so we, yeah, we made it happen. And the source, and that's and that's the key. That's the key word is we just make shit happen. We're making it happen. Think about it. I told you, me and Marv have been trying to battle for six years, and nobody was able to make it happen, and you did. You guys were impromptu able to make disaster in the source. I mean, and Marv one happened again. Uh, you guys are just making shit happen, <laughs> you know. So yeah. whatever yeah. formula you guys got, you know, obviously people rock, rock with y'all. Y'all do good business. So you know, it, it's just gonna continue to grow as far as y'all league and y'all scene. Um, what other things do? What other things do you have out, outside of battle rap 
that that you plan on using to you know to grow to, to grow y'all y'all whole brand is there any like merchandise or is, is there like uh, any shows any things that you're working on music sure um so this hat right here i mean this is one that's all signed by folks uh which i hope to get your signature on this joint too is from oh i got you i got you yeah but we got this hat um again utahrapper.com if you click the three dots on the left where like where you'll have a menu just click on mike masters merch uh we have a um a good amount there so we'll have we'll have stuff there at the event excuse me and uh, also online for available and then uh we're expanding outside of the battles um into cypher series so into a cypher series so like uh, in incorporating more uh incorporating cyphers so like uh, bringing um giving spotlight to the battlers um you know actually on beat and their music also what we're going to be doing with that is expanding that to the greater community because there's a there's a bevy of uh uh rappers out here um that don't exactly battle right now i'm gonna say right now because I, I that's wishful thinking you know but they're direct supporters you know they come out to the events and um some of you know even help sponsor a couple things and so uh to get them a part of these ciphers too to get on the channel uh to expand the brand that mike masters is like you know uh a, a hip-hop hub in salt lake city is really where um a lot of this is going um so there's uh, some cu a couple things in the pipeline uh, as far as that's concerned. And good, good. That's good to hear. That's good yeah. to hear. So, uh, I've been out here, but that's that goes because I've been out here for, uh, you know, since like 2008. Like, uh, I, where'd you come from? I'm, I'm, I'm from here. I, I'm from a suburb of uh, Salt Lake called Magna. Magna, Magna is where I'm, I was born. Okay. So, talk, okay. Uh, it's, it's obviously, you have a team. Uh, the they, maybe they'll pull up, maybe they won't. Can, talk about some of your teammates and who else? Who else uh, helps helps run this thing with you? Yeah, so um, Jer is my is the co owner. He he um came he become became that in uh, last year in like November, I think. Uh, okay. And so he him and I are like you know the spearhead of this whole thing, and then. Um, our videographers are Dally Schaefer and uh, George Life. <clears throat> um, our security squad is uh, led by Mike Shapiro. Um, our DJ uh, has shifted, but uh, it's been either like DJ Intimidate, um, Poetic C. This is his second event that he's uh, um, DJed for us. Um, and I know that I'm if I miss someone, I'm going to be fucking pissed uh no it's cool it's cool man. like uh, it's always someone you know it's dope just to shout out your, your shout out the squad that's all um yeah. all right name me in your personal opinion the top three battle rappers that ever came from uh salt lake city Of course you asked me the fucking question. Um, <laughs> Fight. Emerson Kennedy. Uh, he goes by Lefty now, but Lefty Two Guns. Shout out to freaking Lefty. Yeah, he's gonna. He's on this card too. We Fight. haven't talked about the rest of the card yet. Um, yeah, we're going to get to that right now. Uh, so Emerson, Lefty, and man, I would. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to say best. You know what? I'm going to keep the third open. I'm going to keep No! Uh, <laughs> you, think, no you can't do that. Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a toss-up. Or it's like a, you know, splitting hairs between... Um, there's like three people I want to name. There's like Dumb Luck, Pat Main, and Mike Bailey. Um, is who I want to name in that third spot. So, but okay, that's respectable. That's yeah. respectable. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll let you out the hot seat right there. Okay, <laughs> you right. Can get out the hot oh, damn it, dude. <laughs> you can get out the hot chair. Uh, yeah, shout out to them, man. I, I rock with all of them, man. Lefties a soul fire, man. Shout yeah. out to him. Shout out to the um, damn, shout out to Pat Main. Yo. Shout out to my, and my man Mike Bailey. Shout out to Mike Bailey. I remember he, he used to go by Mikey B, man. You know, he just battled on Gates of the Garden. Uh, he yeah, he's he been doing his shit too since he's um made his return. Yeah, you know, 
Um, let's let's talk about them hard. Let's talk about them hard, man. Of course, you got Danny Myers versus Marv One. Yeah. What else is on this card that we can look forward to? Um, what else is on this card that we can look forward to? Emerson Kennedy versus B Magic. Before I say that, I gotta say Bobby Lee in that whole sentence. So so Bobby Lee is in that group too. Right. <laughs> let's go. Come okay. on, let's go, Bobby Lee Swagger. Yeah, let's yeah. Go. Um Okay, so Emerson Kennedy versus B Magic. Um, and Fire. That, that's fucking crazy. That is a, a, a straight up. Uh, I, I just love the style mm. class. It's not even like a style class. They both are incredible writers. And um, I think. That, yeah. But it's two different types of writing. Emerson is more, it's like poetically set up. He does like B, B Magic is more of a rhythm and a cadence with the punching. Yep. And a, just a, a just a, a innate rap ability, like B Magic, one of the best battle rappers. Uh, yeah, I love that matchup. It's crazy that it hasn't already happened, but hey, again, you guys make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you make shit happen. So, Ours what else we got? Uh, Atheist versus A Ward. Um, oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Oh, that's a parallel universe. I think <laughs> I got think you just got a parallel universe right there. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I, I, I do. do. Listen, man, you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the theme. I, I love the theme. Hey, why the fuck not? You know, why not? You know, um, you got um, you got atheist versus a war. A war, yeah. Who's Look, idea is this? Uh, his atheist. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It was all we. I mean, he initially were uh, was gonna battle Street Hymns, and then uh, Street Hymns wasn't able to make it out. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not much for like shock, fucking jock shit. So like uh, the um, low hanging fruit of like atheist versus a Christian obviously is there, and atheist is obviously an atheist, and A Ward is obviously A Ward. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else yeah, so there's nothing else really freaking time. interesting it should be hilarious yeah i i just wanted yeah this shouldn't even because they don't even have it don't got to be that deep they don't have to really wow. go that far with it but it's obviously there should be some funny shit said <laughs> this, is a, this is a battle that i'm actually uh you know keeping a close eye on because it started out as a one rounder and it's transformed into a three. Oh, um, yeah. so, yikes. Uh, okay. Atheist has battled Cadillac Ron too. Um, he is uh rest in peace to go Cadillac Ron, uh, Caddy Ron. That's a piece of Cadillac Ron, man. So when you said uh, disrespectful and like it doesn't need to get disrespectful, I don't know, man. Atheist can uh, really test some waters, bro. <laughs> hey, it's battle rap, though. It's part of battle rap. It's part of it. So that's part a very, of battle rap. Yeah, that's very, very, very interesting one. Um, I really hope that Award, um, you know, wins the coin toss because otherwise it's going to be a long night. No, I'm just playing. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just All playing. right. Uh, 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 Mike Bailey and Cali Smooth. Oh, yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yo, man. Mike Bailey, listen, Mike, I'm going to tell you right now. Don't be playing no games. If, if there's a time for you to break through the ceiling, this is it. Ali Smooth has been on an incredible run, incredible journey. One of the better battle rappers that don't really get the credit he deserves for his, his rapping ability, his angles, his breakdown, he can rebuttal. Mike, this is a, this is a real test for you. And if you're going to, like I said, this is the time to shine. This is, this is going to show you what you're really made of right here. I'm telling you right now. I don't disagree at all. I think uh, with all these new, uh, like Cali uh, has uh, shown different gears uh, recently. And um, I mean, his battle against Johnny Storm was was pretty good. But uh, I think what he's been doing over at uh, Bags and Bodies has been um, just pretty fucking incredible, man. That's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So Mike, Mike got to know this is the time. Everything that you know as a battle rapper, everything that you've learned thus far, you need to apply it this this time. That's right. Um, is this a one round or is this a three? Three rounds. Yep. Three rounds. Wow. Y'all not playing no games. Yeah. There's only one rounder on. There's only one one rounder on this card. Wow. Yeah, we got a full look. Hey, again, people, please support the pay per view. Yeah. Please, if you are in the area, please purchase your tickets for this. You're getting 
full battles, not just a card full of one rounders. Like you're getting full battles, and it's it's only a couple of dollars. It's not gonna hurt your pockets. Like you know, just support this. Um. So then after that, we got Eli Ace versus Foe at Dev. We welcome. Foe. Oh, another banger! Yeah. Yikes! Hey, I'm listen, y'all. I'm I'm excited. I'm not hyping this up because I'm on the card. And I'm trying to I'm trying to sales salesman the card. I just as a battle rap fan, I know these men. I I I've, I've battled for it, Dev. I've been watching Eli Ace for years. I know this is gonna be a good ass battle right here. So yeah, I mean, uh, I I want to piggyback on that shit and say that uh, I am a battle rap fan first. Like, just because like uh, I said CEO and founder doesn't. I mean, the business side is the business side, but I run this because I love this shit. So like these bat these uh, you know these are uh, these matchups I want to see too. And I just happen to be front row with Lush One, um, watching this whole thing go down. So like I'm very very excited about Eli against Foe at Dev. He's a uh, you know we're welcoming Foe from Westworld and um Eli uh he has a you know he has a lot to tell him you know he's from what I've what I've heard and then Foe at Dev man he's not a he's not someone to fuck with at all dog like he was just on you know Battle of the Bay X and uh Battle yeah recently um yeah X. so he's Foe at uh, Dev go, he go crazy man yeah he's no he is definitely but but you know, let's not sleep on Eli Ace not like I'm just saying Eli Ace has been one of the better MCs that I, you know, since my A hat days, yeah. like I'm like, yo, this dude right here is fire. Yeah, he's he's uh and he's only leveled up, man. There's a you know, just because the the scene or not the scene, excuse me, like a league, the league went dormant. Uh, a lot of these right, right, right continue to to write and shit and keep the keep the pressure on, you know what I'm saying? So um I'm very, very excited for that battle too. Next one is Pat Main versus Baylor. Um and I'm not familiar with Baylor. Baylor is uh, coming. He's um, flying in from Dublin, Ireland. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? We yeah. got someone from Ireland coming in? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that is crazy. Yeah. Plane tickets booked. Everything's good. Shout out to uh, Miss Irish Hip Hop. Also, shout out to Uprock Clothing, Uprock Shop out here in Utah. And shout out to Lake Talk 801, some of our uh, sponsors for the event. But, uh, yeah, he he's uh, made a, an appearance on Premiere PBC out there, uh, and um, this is going to be a, a really. I like the I like this clash of styles here. Baylor is very very disrespectful, and Pat is um, he's very tactful and a very good rapper, dog. Like he is just a really fucking good rapper. Like he he his punchlines have meaning behind him and shit like he definitely is uh he took a t he took a break too he took like a six-year break and then just recently battled on i evolve and um cleaned up man shit he he battled against choose baka and did really well choose did well too um but pat fucking did better <laughs> this is what i'll say <laughs> yikes salute man uh what else we got on here and that's a three-rounder and then uh johnny lingo versus lefty uh he only goes by lefty now but uh that shout, out, shout out to shout out to lefty man yeah this is the one insane, insane battle rapper. Yeah, this is the one rounder. Uh, we're very, very excited to have left back. Uh, we have been, I've been um, talking to him since the warm up two, which uh, featured an insane battle between a four round battle between Lada Zay and Mike Bailey. Um, and after that event, Lefty was like, "Yo, bro, like, I, I'm, I'm this close, you know." And it's been that close since uh, then. And uh, he spoke uh, like four weeks ago and he was like, all right, let's fucking do it. Let's do it. And man. guess what happened? You made shit happen. Yeah. That's <laughs> the main management. <laughs> uh, keep making this shit happen. Come on, man. Let's go. Um, Johnny Lingo, though, I, I'm I'm excited for him too, man. I'm just uh I'm happy he stepped up and um you know took the battle on. So that's gonna be a fun one to watch. Um stretch versus random. Uh Random is making his debut here, uh, and we are very excited about that. Just came off that um, uh, battle with uh, Real Deal on Ruin Your Day, and then uh, Stretch, right. uh, yeah, Stretch just battled Loso uh, here in May um, on Spring Training, and that what that battle is like where he really um, stepped up and leveled up, man. Like he he was already there, he just was waiting for a shot, and uh, this is another shot for him to continue the 
excuse me, that yeah, uh, keep that it process, wrong. Yep, exactly. To keep that process on. I'm like, okay, cool. Now I'm on this tier of battlers. Like these are who I'm battling now, uh, moving forward type of shit, you know? Um, and he's just been waiting for that breakthrough. And I'm glad that we were able to facilitate that because from the jump, stretch was talking about like well i want i really want to battle someone i was like and i really will i will i really will make it happen and we did with fucking loso to start and now he has random and this is a three round battle both of them have been, uh, have been chirping back and forth too so there's a there's been a lot of chatter man a little bit uh for f- a few of these battles mike bailey and Callie smooth they've been chirping too man they've been chirping too um, yeah i like that i like that man you know so then, um Spades versus Certs. Uh, Certs is uh, making his second. I'm, I'm unfamiliar. Sure. Okay. So Certs is making his uh, second appearance here. It would technically be his third, um, but his opponent wasn't able to make the last uh, event, the Bobby's World event. But uh, him and Spades have been, again, kind of, ja- you know, talking back, talking shit. <laughs> that's the best way for me to say it. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Talking that shit, man. But that's, yeah. that's, that's good. And, um, Spades has had a hell, had a, uh, you know a hell of a run. He started uh, from the very first event uh, last October, and um, I mean he's technically gone. Not tech- I mean he's gone undefeated against uh, all of his opponents because we do judged battles out here too, and so uh, he's won all of his battles. So this is going to be a, you know, one of his tougher tests, I guess, at this point. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah. We're excited about that. Um, and that rounds out the card, man. I mean, there's a lot left to on the table there, but uh, yeah, that rounds out the card. Hosted by myself and Lush One um, and uh, DJ Poetic C on the wheels, man. Hey, man, I just want to thank you for your time. October 14th. October. I know the, I know the URL just said that they're doing something. I know I battled doing something. Shout out to Lex. Shout out to all them. All that shit. But also, we're doing something. We're doing also. something. We're doing something. <laughs> hey, I tell you, I'll tell you what. One thing those other cars don't have. Let's go. Danny Myers and Marv One. Let's go. Let's go. I'm very serious, man. <laughs> this is uh this is the the biggest battle the Utah that the Utah scene has ever seen. Uh, battle event rather, and this is the the biggest event that we've thrown outside of the warm up three. The warm up three is incredible. God dang, dude, dog, spring training was incredible. So this is a uh, it's just been stacked, stacked, stacked. And so Mountain West Showdown, the theme is uh, Salt Lake versus everyone. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, head over to our YouTube. It's also uh, you know it's a fucking trip. It's it's just a, it's just great fun. Uh, big ups to Drez for for um, all of his artistic uh, uh, guidance. Uh, through that and um, man, October fourteenth. Quit playing with us, man. October fourteenth, hey, Mountain West I'm Showdown. Gonna I'm gonna say this right now, and I'm gonna talk my shit because I I don't really talk my shit all the time. I'm really fucking humble about this shit. But like, yo, for like a mid tier or like whatever type of league, man, I would put us top five for having a fucking a great fucking year. I don't know if it's like mid tier league or some shit, but. Man, we better get a fucking boat in there, dog. Like straight up, because we have been we've been putting on this. I, I definitely see the work I've been putting in. I tweeted about it. I, I I'm I'm letting people know, hey, these 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 guys are putting in the work, they're putting in the effort, and giving us great battles at the end of the day. So you know, salute, and we I'm gonna promote this. We're gonna we're gonna keep it going, and I'm gonna come give y'all some bars. Y'all gonna y'all gonna get the goat on y'all stage Crazy. versus Crazy. the other goat. It's more of one. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be insane. Damn, I didn't even say this. Uh, I don't know. Should I say it right now? Yeah, fuck it. I'll tell you. Uh, it's a pit setting. Fire. Yeah, we're going pit for this. We were going to go the stage, but we said, fuck that. We're going to go pit. That's my favorite style of battle rap. I just yeah. literally said that on a, on a blog yesterday. I was talking, I, I interviewed my man, Jack. I don't know if you're familiar with Jack, but I just interviewed him with him yesterday. I'll be dropping that later on. And, and we was talking about the pit, you know, and, and that's my favorite style of rap. So I'm, I'm going to be right at home, bro. Man, I, I, I think this is the best way to, to do it. Um, I mean, I love the stage. Don't get me wrong. I do love the stage. It is fun to do the stage. No doubt. That pit is more of an intimate, like like I said, it's a knife fight. You got to get up close. It's an intimate feel. You got to really rap and people are paying attention to the bars. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And um, we'll have security all night. So, you know, so that, what, 
a lot of us won't be having to say shut the fuck up you know <laughs> uh we'll uh make sure to keep the crowd in, in check on that and then our live stream is going to be hosted um in conjunction with the beans and rice show um they'll be uh doing the commentary they've uh, held it down for our uh previous pay-per-views so uh, man that's a whole ride too danny shit man to even get to a pay-per-view dog like we didn't even fucking think about doing that shit and then disaster versus marv happened and then boom my phone starts blowing up like is there a pay-per-view is there a pay-per-view i was like we haven't done one bro i don't fucking know i don't know and then we made it happen we just made it Make shit happen <laughs> That's your motherfucking motto for this year. Yeah, make it happen, man. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, man. I'm Danny Myers. And once again, let the people know who you are. Gabino Grimes, Mike Masters Alliance. Bars, let's go. Mike Masters 801 on everything. Game time. All right, y'all. Parallel combos. That's Gabino Rhymes. Hey, what else? What else? What else? Where's the pay-per-view at? One more time. Pay-per-view is on caffeine. Pay-per-view is on caffeine. Uh, at Mike Masters 801. The, the number's out. That's our profile. It's the first join on there to unlock it. It's 100 gold, $10. Again, if you have the Q, uh, URL app, it's half off at $5 as well. So uh, shout out to Hoodie Jair. Uh, shout out to everyone on the card. Um, shout out to uh, Liquid Joe's for hosting us. Um, and shout out to the city of Salt Lake and our uh, amazing community um, that we've been able to cultivate in this past year, man. We've really been able to do something special, and um, we're capping off an incredible year with an incredible event for um, for not just Mike Masters, not just for the, the state of Utah, but for fucking for the culture of battle rap with Danny Myers, Marv One, Emerson Kennedy, B Magic, Atheist, A Ward, Cali Smooth, Mike Bailey. Pat Main, Baylor, Lefty, Johnny Lingo, Eli Ace, Foet Dev, Stretch, Random, Spade, Search, Johnny Lingo, um, and Lefty. Um, Lush One's going to be in the building. Man, let's fucking go. It's going to be a... Let's go, oh, man. We're going to have a great event. It's going to be dope. Battle Rap is in a good space right now. Man, I'm going to have you back on this show. I'm definitely going to get you back on here. So, salute to you, man. Peace.